So we're now going to have a look at the impact of the gold rushes on Aboriginal people. And as you can see, there were some problems that arose for the Aboriginal people, but there were also some opportunities that came out of the gold rushes as well. So let's start by looking at the problems that they faced. So first of all, their homes and their environment were destroyed by mining. When all the diggers were in there looking for gold, they dug up the ground, they used the creeks and muddied the waters and pretty much ruined the homes that the Aboriginal people were living in. And so that meant that number two, many had to move elsewhere to survive. They had to, to move to get out of the goldfield areas to go to other places. Unfortunately, if you look at number three there, contact with the diggers also resulted in more illnesses and deaths because these foreigners that were coming from overseas brought with them lots of other diseases that the Aboriginal people weren't used to. So they got very sick and unfortunately quite a few of them died as a result. They also died in clashes sometimes with the miners which was very unfortunate. And finally, um, some of the uh, Aboriginal people found that there was availability of alcohol and that some of them became drunks, became, they became dependent on that alcohol. So very sad in that way. However, as I just said before, there were some opportunities that the gold rushes provided for the Aboriginal people. And the first one, uh, on the gold fields, they were able to trade with the diggers. So they were able to, to trade their goods, things like clothing and um, food that they'd caught, and they were able to give those to the miners in exchange for some money or some other goods. So that increased the wealth and prosperity of those people, which was a good thing. And another thing they were able to do was act as guides for the diggers. So you can see in this, in this uh, painting here, there's uh, two men on horseback and the Aboriginal guide is helping his European friend and dog get across the river safely. And that's the sort of thing that they used to do. They used to help uh, miners get a safe path through from one gold field to the next and uh, they also helped them look for bush tucker and other things like that. So they were very useful and of course they would have been rewarded for that. The third thing was actually that some of the Aboriginal people found gold for themselves and they were quite good at it because of course they knew the land well and they knew how, um, how to dig, they knew how to um, extract the gold quite well. So some of them were fortunate enough to find gold and became reasonably wealthy themselves. And finally, um, there were some opportunities for, for the Aboriginal people away from the gold fields because many of the miners that were uh, working on farms and working on properties actually left. They left those properties when the gold rush started because they wanted to go and find all the gold. And that left some jobs which opened up opportunities for some of the Aboriginal people. And so we see here a photo or a, a painting of an Aboriginal stockman. Uh, and we still have quite a few Aboriginal stockmen even today who are there rounding up the cattle. Um, but they, are, they took other jobs like shearers and uh, general farmhands as well. And so that provided them uh, a means and a way of living which they never had before the gold rushes started. So as you can see, there were some problems for the Aboriginal people with the gold rushes and also there were some opportunities.